Good morning, folks. We've got several items to hit today. There were a couple good-looking solar eruptions, including an X-class solar flare. We'll hit cosmology, magnetic excursions in the sediment, a fun galactic current sheet article, grand solar minimum science, and more. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and for most of the day it was quiet. But overnight, a filament ripped away from the north, a few limb and far side eruptions occurred, and we also took an X-class flare from the departing sunspot group. Let's first zoom in here on the northern filament eruption. It was one of the smaller filaments, and the field reconnection aftermath is actually more visible than the erupting filament itself, heading northward away from the Earth. The X-class flare happened on the limb, very impulsive, and once again the Earth-facing solar quiet lets go when the sunspot turns far enough away from the Earth that the eruption will miss. Up first in the articles is this, an Easter egg for veteran observers who already know the mountain of issues with dark matter science. We add one more to the list here, early galaxies with too many stars, another serious problem for dark matter. Up next, as many of you know, there is no one sediment core that shows every single geomagnetic excursion, but the best ones can show multiple events. This one shows Helena Poly 18,000 years ago, the Mono Lake excursion 36,000 years ago, and the Great Le Champ disaster as well. Another good confirmation of those events in the timeline fun one up next. It turns out that scientists looking for minor structures in the galactic plane are having trouble isolating them. But when they wrote a program to remove the vertical waves of the galactic current sheet, they are able to spot them quite nicely within the radio wave. Again, our galactic disaster cycle maker is so prominent, you have to remove it to see the fine details of smaller structures. Hopefully you caught last night's video on the cold climate bomb coming. One thing we mentioned is that grand solar minimum in the near future would be significant as well, and this morning we have a preprint on exactly that. They found it would cut the so-called global warming in half, and given that the ocean forcing would completely reverse the trend, having both on deck in the coming years means a great deal for the future of our climate. Now a quick look at Observer Ranch progress from CAT. Welcome to the ranch. This is our main entry with our founder wall to the left, which is currently in production. Through these doors will be our checkout area, retail store, kids play area, and coffee tea bar. The library will have a collection of over 250 books and we can't wait to enjoy events and classes in our learning center. This season promises to be filled with unforgettable experiences and we look forward to welcoming you to Observer Ranch. Campground for today, education for tomorrow. Lastly folks, our monthly science recap, Observer Review, comes out later today. Sign up at the link below. It is the best way to support the cause and the best way to stay updated on everything that happens month to month in Observer-related science news. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.